as much. And that's what we're going to do. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go. Baby doing okay, Jennifer? Baby, everybody's doing fine. Mom is okay. Yes, She's back at home. Huh? Is mom back at home? Yes, she came home. Um, she came home two days later, right, Philip? She came home two days later, which was really, really nice. But she was losing her mind at the uh, oh, at the bad. hospital. So, I yeah, bet. she's doing much better. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's Collaborating Connections Professional Networking Meeting. My name is Dawn Evans Casey, and I'm the leader of the group. Collaborating Connections has been around for almost five years now. Uh, and we are part of the TTR networking family, which has been around for 11 years or plus. Uh, we're happy that you uh, have decided to tune in and share with us this evening. Uh, TTR Networking, as I mentioned, has been around for a while. We used to meet in person in satellite groups. Uh, Collaborating Connections is just one of many TTR Networking groups. Since COVID, we have gone virtual in um, many cases, um, and that allows us to connect with and reach out to individuals across the United States and even overseas. Absolutely fantastic. We have had some wonderful and interesting professional visitors from around the world, and we really enjoy learning a bit more about them and their business, developing relationships, sharing useful information, and growing individually. Um, without further ado, I'm, I want to quickly talk about uh, our title or the rescue in TTR networking, and it's actually an acronym for many important words that uh, clearly describe who we are and what we're about. The R in rescue is for relationships, which we truly believe is the core of uh, business growth and support. Um, it's always wonderful to meet new people, uh, potential partners, potential customers, and just individuals that we can talk to, interact with, share, and learn from. The E is for education. And as I mentioned, uh, while we are communicating and sharing, we are also educating uh, each other about what we do, uh, what's important within our industries, and uh, what we as consumers and business owners can be looking out for. The S in rescue is for success strategies, um, which is a vital part of why we get together and talk. We all want to be successful in our business endeavors, and we each share the strategies that work for us, uh, describe you know, the benefits, and it gives us a chance to listen to and perhaps, uh, you know, take from those best practices that we're hearing to implement something new and beneficial in our business space. The C is for community. And we not only strive to uh, improve ourselves and our businesses, but we work as a community collaborating together, helping those around us, especially nonprofits and community groups. We want to thrive in our business and we want our community to thrive right alongside of us. So when there are organizations that are in need of support, whether that be volunteers, um, financial support, uh, contribution of our gifts or treasures. We want to share that with each other and um, find out where those opportunities lie and how we might be able to help and contribute to our community. 
The you and rescue is for understanding. You know, each of us are not here just to speak or talk about ourselves, but to take the time to ask questions, um, understand each other a little better, um, and, and be an advocate for our uh our other members within our group. So when we are out and about and hearing conversations and, and somebody needs to know um, a, a wonderful resource in a particular industry, we have a good understanding of what our members offer and can easily make a, uh, a wonderful referral on their behalf. And the second E is all about execution. It's wonderful for us to listen and, and take all of this information in on a weekly basis, but the, the real gem is in the execution. Based upon what we're learning, experiencing, listening to, uh, recommendations and referrals, uh, we go forward and make sure that we're executing those, those things so that the growth towards success becomes evident to each of us. So there you go. To the rescue. That's what uh, the TTR networking is all about. At this time, I want to invite uh, anyone on our call to share any wins or wonderful happenings that have occurred within the past week or more, or um, something that's coming up very soon that they want to share with, uh, with the group and those who may be listening to the recording of this call. Do we have any wins, anybody? I had a win. Um, just yesterday, I was able to close on a, a commercial account that I've been working on since May, um, and it's my first workman's comp um, policy. And he had other policies, but um, I never, um, I've always been able to provide it, never had anyone move forward with it, so I got to learn a lot um, about workman's comp. And so, yeah, it was a, a big win for me. Awesome. Congratulations, Brynn. Thank you. Thank you. We, we, we know that you're very talented on the, the home and auto and um, yeah. that you also do the commercial work, uh, commercial liability, but that's awesome. It's you're also doing a commercial workman's comp and yes. just expanding what you uh, have to offer and making sure that you're taking care of your customers. Yeah. Great. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Anybody else? Any other wins? Uh, this is congratulations, Brian. Uh, I started new position uh, with new company on Monday. Today is make one week. Old National Bank is where I'm at now. Do you want to share a little bit more about that, um, or yeah. do you want to wait till your until your introduction? We can wait to mind how you want to do it. Okay. Okay. Well, well, we'll uh, save all that good stuff for the introduction, but congratulations, Robert. Congratulations, you Robert. Week in on that new position. It's very, it's very loud here, but very, um, very cool, Robert. I'm looking forward to hearing about it very much. That's exciting. Um, I'll just really quick, the big job that I booked a couple months ago that I kept talking about, talking about, talking about music job was last Thursday and I was, um, I was so tired, <laughs> but it went really well. <laughs> you too. So I, all I can say is it did live up to ex the expectations and everything that we could get out of it. I talked to Don, I think that day. Was it that day? And I told you with such a high, but it's such a, you fall off this I think it was the day the before, first. but yeah. 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 It's literally, I, you know, I <laughs> told on, I don't, I don't indulge in alcohol or drugs or anything like that, but it is such a natural high, but when it's over, you just plummet, you know, and it's actually a really good, it's a great, Thing, and it went really well. We were up at the Madison County Fair. Sorry, guys, there's a lot of noise here. Um, 
but it really went, went extremely well and everybody did did well it was warm but it wasn't it just was perfect so that was my win pretty big for us so Wonderful. I, I was very excited for you, Jennifer, because I know the preparation that you put into that event and uh, and that music is your your muse, your your passion. So I'm really happy for you. Um, I do have a question. I had asked you previously if it was being recorded and, and where it was going to be shared. Yes, we actually have. Um, it took us a day or two and I may try to get it. Um, we recorded individual songs, so I'm going to share because we've done it where we've recorded the whole <laughs> the whole thing is one big piece, <laughs> and it and it's like nobody wants to sit there and listen to the whole thing. So I am going to put a couple. We put them on YouTube, um, but I will be sharing, and I Nicole's going to post them. I said I was kind of kind of you're going to do a couple more, yeah. But I'm not going to give everybody, I'm not going to make everybody go through that, but uh, give everybody the whole hour and a half of music. But we will post some of them and they're, they're in their entirety, I guess they'll be on the YouTube channel. But thank you for asking. Yes. Hadn't forgotten, just haven't gotten it all together yet. So. Okay. Wonderful, no problem. I'm going to encourage anybody who uh, is into music, that feel good music, that that happy, you know, toe tapping, smiling as you go to uh, to check that out when Jennifer shares it, um, you know, search for her on YouTube Thanks. and check that music out. Good stuff. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Anything else from anybody? All righty. Well, we will move into the next um, topic on our weekly agenda, which is happenings within TTR networking. And again, I'm going to go back to Jennifer Johnson. Um, do you have any updates on happenings to, to share with the group? Well, let's see, it's, we're at the end of, I cannot believe it, we're at the end of July, looking almost the end of July. Um, we just finished up, um, jot it down, and I know you're going to share, or we're finishing up, jot it down, mm -hmm. and you're going to share what's our new topic. Um, biggest thing I would say is Nicole Williams actually um, did a second presentation on what, what we're calling the simple three-step um, content marketing process. And she talks about uh, <clears throat> journaling, mind mapping, and blogging. And it was well attended both times that she did it. So she is going to start doing that every month because I think even if you don't want to blog or you don't really know what that's all about, there's so many different ways you can do the blogging, but just the basics of that whole thing is what you know, the education, just, you've got so much expertise in you that you can just, you know, you use the journaling, the mind mapping. And then if you decide you want to do blogging, you can, but you can do so many different forms of it. It's just a great way to share your expertise, get all your, all the great stuff going on in your mind, down on paper to share with other people. And so I told her, I think that's one of, with education being one of our pillars or one of our letters, um, my whole thing, you know, is to, to have that every month. Um, just, you know, just open for people to um, just come and pick up the basics from her. And then if you decide you want to learn more, she she offers class she can do all kinds of things but um so we're doing that um as far as other events um i i know we're trying to reschedule the ttr cares so we'll have to put that on the calendar and of course that's dawn's baby so we'll let her talk about that but um trying to think what other we're awesome testimonials are coming up so um 
not quite all programmed up for the month, but we've got so much with September and October coming up. So um, just got a lot of things going on. So <laughs> anyway, so just, the best thing to do is to keep watch of the TTR yeah. networking website. And yeah, website and social media. Yeah, we try to have them synced up. Um, sometimes I, I forget to put them on the website because we're do it on social media, but we are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, I believe Nicole's got us out there too. So anyway, I hope that helps, but that yeah, does. it's been a very busy couple months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Sure. Um, I'm just going to add, um, I have invited Nicole Williams to come visit with us one evening uh, very soon to share those uh, same topics of uh, the mind mapping exercise and the, the bullet points on, you know, how to manage your ideas and get them from your head to paper so that we can be more uh, reactive and uh, execute on uh, the wonderful things, the problem solving things that we need. So we'll look forward to seeing her within the next couple of weeks. I hope that you all are here. And if you miss that Collaborating Connections meeting, um, I believe that there is a recording of her presentation, and I would encourage anybody to take the time to, to check out uh, Nicole Williams' presentation. Uh, and there are certainly some golden nuggets to be gleaned from that. Um, in addition, Jennifer mentioned that the TTR CARES is being rescheduled and that's still in process. It is all about uh, community policing, community safety, uh, block clubs, and uh, we are also looking to have a, a speaker participate from uh, a personal defense um, industry to uh, talk about some resources that may be available. So I hope that each of you look out for that rescheduled date. Um, I think that's about it for the updates on the TTR side, but um, like Jennifer mentioned, check out social media, check out the website. And additionally, as each of us as members, uh, be sure to check out our referral runway. Uh, there's always uh, wonderful information. Uh, you can just peruse members in other groups to expand your uh, relationship networking and uh, stay mindful of our uh, organization-wide partners and what they have to offer as well. So if you have a little free time, uh, make sure that you reach out, meet somebody new, touch base, and uh, build those relationships, okay? From here, we will go ahead and start our roundtable uh, member introductions. So I want to invite uh, Jennifer Johnson, if you're, if you're ready. Um, are sure. you ready to I'll introduce yourself in your business? Sure, sure. I'll do it because we may have to click me off here for a minute. We're at the, I will get on my computer. I'll get back on in a few minutes, but yes, yeah, so I'm Jennifer Johnson. I feel like I've been hogging up all the time, so I'll make it as quick as possible. I am the founder of TTR Networking, which um, Don does a great job of explaining who we are at the beginning, but relationship marketing coach, I'm also a musician, which happens to be going well right now, so I'm excited about that. But relationship marketing is really building those relationships because that's what the marketing, the marketing will take over all on its own. You don't have to worry about it if you build the relationship the right way. So, um, you know, and there are fundamentals to doing that. Um, we all know we all know how you're supposed to do it, and there are tools out there to help you do it. So who do you know that needs, you know, maybe they're brand new in a business. We actually have a new program starting next week. I forgot about that, yeah. um, Don. We have a new program starting next Thursday. So um, actually, we're going to do an overview on Thursday, but the 
the program is Ignite, and that's going to happen on Tuesdays at noon Eastern time. But um, anyway, having said all that, I just help you better stay in touch, um, hopefully connect to the right people, networking groups, um, relationship marketing tools, just um, who do you know that needs all that? So um, I'm here to help. So I may end up falling off this for a minute, but I'll be back in a minute. I don't know. I might be fine too. So, all right. <laughs> okay. Talk to you okay. in a minute. Thank all you, right. Jennifer. Thank Does you. anyone have any questions or comments uh, for Jennifer Johnson at this time? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Well, I have, a, I have a quick uh, kind of expanding. It, can you share with uh, us on this call uh, who's a good candidate for the Ignite program? so that we stay mindful of who we should be sharing that with. And, you know, really, I would say, I, I mean, this is the worst thing I tell everybody, not everybody is your client, but um, really, I think you're going to gather things out of it, no matter who you are, but it is meant for, I talk to people every week, um, probably anywhere from you know, five to 10 people are usually sent our way. Not all of them work, you know, fit. They don't, they see what they, they see what we are and they don't quite get it. You know, they're, uh, so it would be for somebody who's brand new, um, who maybe is starting a new job or, um, you know, they don't have to be um, like young or anything. They can be brand new in an industry, just trying to build start a, and they don't even realize that they need to know these things, how to do that. And then you could be somebody who's more seasoned like myself, <laughs> who maybe gets a little burned out on networking and just wants some, um, to be inspired again, you know, just to kind of regain that, that fire that, or, you know, ignite that flame kind of, and, mm -hmm. you know, why, because I know I, for me, when somebody, I've been joking around about this, but I mean, this is what I do every day, but somebody says something about, oh, there's this networking event. And I'm like, oh, crap, <laughs> another networking event. And then I'm like, oh, but what am I doing? I'm doing this every day. But, you know, we really, it is hard. It is work. And there's things that you can do to kind of get yourself in the right mindset, get yourself ready to, you know, and to realize that there should be a game plan. There should be a reason. Um, yes, you can go to, you should probably not scoff at, at networking events. There's probably always going to be something or someone there that it's beneficial to go, but it is good to have a plan and to, um, you know, I, I think you can kind of go overboard on the planning as well, but, but you should have a strategy in mind, you know, who are you trying to talk to and, and, and they don't really want to know all about your program right now or your products. They just want to get to know you first. And I mean, I think that's, you know, pretty, not everybody understands that. They want to shove the product right down your throat until you buy it, <laughs> you know? So anyway, but anyway, so that's what the program is meant. People who are brand new, who may not even realize they need it. So if you know somebody in that boat, um, or somebody who is seasoned and is just kind of burned out and maybe needs some different, you know, wants to look at things a little differently, maybe have a different perspective. But I, I am sure no matter, you know, we're all going to learn things from each other for sure. So anyway, Absolutely. I hope that helps. Yes, definitely. I think of it as a wonderful, uh, you know, precursor to joining a networking group where um, the expectations are clearly outlined so that you don't feel like you're joining a group and, you know, as the newbie, you're just kind of waiting to see what, what's happening around you. Um, you feel like you have, you come in with resources to be, um, to contribute and participate actively and, 
um, get the most out of each networking session. So um, if you know, like Jennifer said, of a new business or, or an existing business that just needs um, some extra oomph behind it, um, recommending that Ignite program sounds like a wonderful idea. Thank you. Thank you. And we are starting, we're launching our fourth session of um, our Success Connect, which is our mastermind program, which starts, that'll launch in September. So I'm hoping that the Ignite will kind of, you know, people will determine, do I want to go to a referral group where the expectations are a certain level of you know, certain things like being there and doing, but then the mastermind is a different kind of expectation. It's still, you need to attend and you need to be involved, but there, people come with different things they need and they may be, it may be a good thing to be in both, sure. you know, for some. Okay. So anyway, that's it. But thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you for sharing. Uh, next, I'd like to invite Bryn Cochran. Are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? Yes. Thank you, Don. Um, my name is Bryn Cochran. I am a shelter insurance agent. I sell life, well, I'm sorry, home, auto, commercial, and um, I do a lot with uh, the commercial lines and um, something that um, I've just kind of previously like um, really exploring is professional liability. So um, if you all know. Uh oh, you went muted, Bryn. Sorry about that. If you all know any lawyers or like um, doctors, um, I now can do professional liability, um, not just the business aspect of it but actually um, professional or sometimes it's called mal malpractice insurance as well. So um, learning how to do that a little bit more um, and then the workman's comp as well is something that I, I got to um, recently have a policy on. So I offer workman's comp as well. So if you know anybody who um, is looking for uh, requotes, if they've been with their same insurance company for a long time and they're interested in, in seeing if maybe a, a different company can provide different rates for them, um, I'd be happy to, to speak with them and um, see if I'm able to offer that. And additionally, um, great service as well. Bryn Cochran, Shelter Insurance. Awesome, Bryn. Thank you for sharing. Are there any questions for Bryn Cochran um, or her shelter insurance agency at this time? You know, when you said, said that, you said, you, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Robert. No, no, I was just saying no question. I was just going to say, Bryn, thank, well, well, good job on expanding your, your, your portfolio. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, thank you very much. There's a so lot to learn. <laughs> yeah, so you need, okay, so when you're asking for referrals to, um, when you're asking for referrals to um, lawyers, attorneys, are you asking because they are a good ref referral partner or because you can actually insure them? You can insure them for the malpractice, right? Exactly. Um, this is something new that Shelter has offered in our brokerage that we have. Um, so I used to always be able to do the business aspect of it. So the building and then if somebody was hurt on the premises, like that would be the business, uh, the general liability. But now, um, and what, and then I could always do the workman's comp, but now they've also opened up a new avenue of professional liability as well. So um, a lot of times people want everything under one roof. So, um, so I didn't really ever mm -hmm. e explore. And plus, I mean, I'm only three years into insurance and it's overwhelming. I mean, Nancy will tell you, especially when you have a brokerage, there's so many different types of insurance and it's, it's a little intimidating um, to mm -hmm. offer something, but not know a lot about it. And that's the same thing with professional liability, errors and admissions, whatever. There's so many different names in the market for it, but um, we offer it and I'm willing to, to help people and okay. with it. So, yes. Because we do have, on our in our north side group we have a 
an attorney that works basically with small or business owners. I think he can do a state, you know, a state planning and stuff, but most of our attorneys have always been more like estate planners. They're not working necessarily, they help people with businesses, but I would think he might be a really good contact for you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, and maybe for himself as well, but um, he's, he's an interesting guy, but I will um, try to make that email connection for you. Um, so, he's an interesting guy, very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it like he's crazy or anything. But <laughs> yeah, more than likely he, he may, if he, if he represents or helps a lot of other small businesses, he may already work for an insurance company um, because insurance companies have lawyers who work for them. Interesting. They're because they're the ones okay. they're litigators, the ones who help litigate the cases. So an insurance company gets a claim and they they actually take it and they'll call a lawyer and say, Hey, can you handle this case? Isn't that funny how we don't all know this kind of stuff? I know. Um, it's kind of cool actually, the more I learn about it. Yeah. Well, and I'm yeah, so I will make I'm gonna I mean, I'll make an introduction and then obviously it's, you know, you guys, but I was just I thinking he is working Thanks. with more individuals and I will say he's very, he's got really big plans for his, his, um, office. Um, so, you know, I, it might be, I don't know, just sounds like he's got real big growth plans. So it could be a real good connection for you. Okay. I would love I hope. to thank you, Jennifer. You're welcome. I'll You're do my best. Like meeting new people, so I mean, no matter what, it's going to be great. <laughs> You're sweet. See, that's I just what we do: is, yeah. is make yeah. these uh, connections to build relationships to see where, uh, what type of business, uh, what type of of connection is there. So that is wonderful, Bryn. I have a quick question for you. I know that you do the the home and auto and uh, and so forth, the commercial liability in Indiana and Ohio. So do these additional extensions? Um, types of insurance business? Are you covered in the same geographical locations, the Indiana, Ohio, for those as well? Yeah, yes. Shelter offers, uh, once you're licensed with property and casualty, um, health and all the other like commercial, all that other stuff, once you have uh, licensed in this, in that state, you can, you can practice all type, all those types of insurance. Yes. Awesome. Thank That's you. Cool. Are there any other questions for Bryn Cochran? All right. Thanks again, Bryn. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Next, I am going to invite Nancy Vesley. Are you ready to introduce yourself in your business? Sure. Um, Nancy Vesley. If it gets too loud, I might go outside. Um, IHC Specialty Benefits, independent. Uh, broker for health insurance, life insurance, uh, dog and cat insurance. Also can help you with if you have any seniors that are on Medicare coming up in October is open enrollment. So get ready for the uh, Joe Namath, JJ Walker, and not sure who else is on TV these days. They'll be starting and they'll be hitting your mailbox. I know they hit our mailbox, so I'm assuming they hit everybody's mailbox. That's it. So right now, just trying to uh, get some under 65 people insured. There's a lot of people out there that don't have any insurance. Uh, the other big one we have is we've picked up AFLAC. So we'll be able to write sure. policies for AFLAC shortly. And everybody knows the duck. <laughs> duck is famous. But that's it. And with the mention of the duck and uh, the clamor of your household pets, is there another line that you want to talk about? The pet dog and cats. <laughs> Just dog and cats don't do birds, unfortunately. Could use it. <laughs> do they not do birds, Nancy? No, they don't do exotics. I don't know the if I've heard. The one I'm with is not don't doesn't do exotics. There are some that do exotics though. Interesting. Well, I was gonna say, is it because of the 
the mortality rate or something is i mean does that make a difference or is that a does that have anything to do with it at all? Maybe it doesn't. I would think I would think the exotics live longer than the dogs and cats. I mean, oh. parrots they and reptiles are 40, 50 years old is nothing for them. I gotcha. I never but, thought there would be a... I mentioned that I just said, got back from, from Florida earlier and, and, you know, people who keep the reptiles, the the large lizards and alligators and so forth as pets oh my gosh i can't i yeah, i'm a midwest girl so it's hard for me to put my head wrap my head around the thought of that type of a pet but i know the one guy from the pair club he's and i've known him for years and the one meeting he mentions he's got a seven foot boa constrictor that he's had since he was 18 it's like what in the world do you do with a boa constrictor and it's just survived and it's he's he's gonna leave it to his son he said so he's got a plan which is good but it's like seven foot snake i mean could you imagine it's, yeah. i don't know how big the aquarium and if it's even in an aquarium i don't know what else it would be in how long do boa yeah. can flip they've got to be up there i bet you they're 40 years easily I mean, oh, don't they continue? Uh, snakes grow even all along. I mean, they don't stop growing till they die. So it's like you can imagine. Oh my God. Those anacondas, the ones that are like loose in the Everglades that you hear about, you know? Oh. And then they have yeah. lizards down there. Igua iguanas? I don't know what they are, the green ones. Wow. And they're all over the place. They're all wild too. Wow. Okay. Right. Any, now I'm going to have bad dreams. <laughs> any <laughs> questions for Nancy Vesley and uh, the health insurance, Medicare, uninsured insurance, AFLAC, or dog and cat? The AFLAC, I think you're going to find at least, I, I did sell AFLAC. Did you know that? I probably told you that. No, I didn't know you were part of AFLAC. I was part of everything, Nancy. I sold everything. I, I'm, and I didn't do any of it well. So let me just say, I did not. I am not ashamed to say it. I, uh, you know, but I'm glad you're picking it. It's a good product. I mean, it's good. There's, I mean, it's not a bad thing. That it's a great thing. How many? I helped a lady who had never had, who had had Affleck for years. They paid for it. And then when there, she had cancer, she had a cancer policy and they never collected on it. And I think, I mean, they paid out all kinds of money and I was able to go back and help her get a bunch of money in back things that she was owed. And all I can say was I got nothing out of it monetarily, but I just felt so good that this company had done that for her, you know, and it had been years before, but she, her, her agent had fallen off the planet, I think. So <laughs> I, I don't know. That happens, that happens a lot. Cause at one point I was with it. I was, I owned Aflac policies and my agent disappeared. And so I had no idea I was paying for him, but I know I just walked away from it cause it was a employee option in a company. And I just left it because I didn't even know what it was, what I had at the time. And Wow. Yeah, I'm glad you're going to do that because you can then educate all of us on it. Yeah. Because that is, um, I know their, their plans have probably changed. But they had a cancer policy that was really, I mean, and this lady, this lady, um, I don't know if she was completely in remission or anything, but but I just felt like, you know, what a nice thing. I was able to help get her money back. I mean, not all of it, but, you right. know, there's payout for things that, you know, that people don't think about when, you know, you're having to drive, you know, back and forth from hospitals or whatever it was, you know, just all kinds of cancer treatment kind of stuff. And it was really great. So that's good. I, I'm always going to say Affleck had great, has great policies. There's a lot of people don't know with the people that are um, being treated for cancer, a lot of stuff isn't covered. So there's a lot of out of the pocket stuff. 
yeah. that supplements you can get supplements for it that would help cover some of those things because otherwise they're coming out of your pocket. You know, all the some of that experimental stuff, your insurance company doesn't pick that up. So if you want to do an experimental drug, it's coming out of your pocket or you're not getting it. I mean, those are the two options. And at that yeah. point in time, wow. choice, you're gonna do it, you know, you're for the ability possible to survive and kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yep. All right. Good information. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, next, I am going to invite Robert Haley. Are you ready to introduce yourself and your new business? Yes, I am. Ready? Uh, Robert Haley, uh, now with Old National Bank. Uh, I'm a community banker, community development loan officer, really basically helping to develop a minority community here, really in, in uh, focus a lot in Indianapolis, Indiana, Marion County area, but all, all of Indiana. But that's but that's main focus there itself. Will allow us to allow me to be able to uh, really help help uh, homeowners is a good example of one someone with a 600 credit score uh, manual underwrite I can uh, I can almost uh, get that person's uh, you know homeowner with no more than about a thousand dollars out of their pocket and wow. having some money to money to help them to uh, down payment and closing costs so it's a great program one of the benefit when I, when I made the change was they pursued me what made it trilling was basically they because I wanted to focus most on local local uh, business. So that's really a great there. And they made a great offer to me that was really couldn't refuse and, and really in my wheelhouse what I do already. Uh, so that was a blessing there itself. So I'm looking forward to developing uh, uh, more like with, with brand there, definitely with some of their states because we focus all in the Midwest, uh, Kentucky, Missouri, uh, Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, as well as Indiana. And so that's what we focus mainly on. Uh, the Old National Bank just acquired First Midwest Bank based out of the Chicago area, uh, which gave them a bigger footprint more so as well. So, but all the Midwest. So looking forward to my office, right? I'm on uh, my office location is at, uh, at the Fort Harrison at 56 and Post Road. Right, old National Bank right down the corner. Awesome, I know where that is. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Robert. I just wanna say that Old National has got a, a quality, uh, high caliber um, community development officer in you. So uh, good matchup all around. Um, additionally, I just want to say I've noticed a lot on the news about uh, individuals who are getting priced out of their of their of their homes, um, meaning rentals, renters in apartments who uh, the rent is going up and they can no longer afford the place that they've they've been for a while because of that. And it's really good to hear in you know these times of uh, financial challenges that there is a bank, an organization, a resource such as yourself that can offer options uh, to keep a head, uh, a roof over the head of individuals um, who have a less than perfect credit score, who may be wrought with. Um, just anxiety over what they're going to do now. So um, I'd say that I'm, I'm looking to uh, keep my ears open for those individuals uh, who may have those challenges to direct them your way for uh, consideration of affordable, um, affordable housing and just being able to uh, repave their financial path uh, to, towards peace of mind. Are there are there any other questions out there for Robert Haley in his new endeavor with Old National Bank? Uh, 
I don't have questions. I just want to reiterate, congratulations, Robert. Very happy for you. This is um, a great role for you. Um, you're going to you're going to do wonderful. Um, and then on the old national end of it, I just, uh, a comment. I, I grew up in Southern Indiana and in Boonville. And so old national was my first savings account. My mom and dad helped me open it up and, and they've just grown like crazy. Um, mm -hmm. and they just uh, offer wonderful service and they still do despite how many banks they continue to take over. So you're going to be working for a wonderful company too. So congratulations. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We're looking forward to, you know, it's been a great experience thus far. Uh, so looking forward to the interview process. It was fantastic. I felt like I was, uh, we, I knew them already. Uh, so the VP of, uh, met the senior VP. He said, Robert, I, I felt like I know you already. We, you know, so we said so it was a pretty, pretty easy, easy going process. So, you know, you have to go still go through all the background check and stuff, which is what no worries for me, but that was move my, just move my service over to them. Uh, Nancy, and uh, if I could, I mean, I was trying to log in my referral runway to make my changes, but I forgot my password and my email that's that associated with that is my old job. So when <laughs> I try to get a referral, get my uh, my uh, password changed, ah, it goes back to that old email, right. So um, I don't know what I, what I need to, what I need to do to, to well, fix that issue. Question. That's a good question. I can put a note. I can actually email while we're talking. I can message Tony because I probably would say that's a um, Tony with uh, referral runway. He'll. I'll just say you've changed banks now. The email doesn't work. You need to go in, and, and I'm sure. He, They've dealt with that. Yeah. So I'll let you know as soon as they let me know. But Robert, you better give me an updated email then. Hold on. I put it, in, on. I put it all put it in the, the chat. chat. Oh, he put it in the chat. Okay. Hold on. I don't know why I don't see. Oh, here's my book. Okay. So I will look at that and do my best to get that resolved tomorrow. It okay. should be. Are you laughing at me, you guys? No. Because I'm goofy. No. <laughs> So, so, so any email for me, you guys use this use this email that's in the chat now. Okay. Will that do. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that, Robert. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Okay, Robert. All righty. If there are no <laughs> other questions for Robert, I'll go ahead and do my business introduction. My name is Dawn Evans Casey, and my company is Spa Travel. Uh, we are all about relaxed adventure, and I love to help my clients have enjoyable, memorable travel experiences. Um, I focus more on the, uh, the planned adventure, uh, more so than last minute jaunts. It's uh, my uh, process is to talk to a potential client, find out what they're interested in, the, the time frame, the anticipated budget, all the wonderful things that they love to enjoy and do. And uh, I put together proposals for them based upon that information. Uh, we likely have follow-up conversations, adding in some excursions or tours or uh, the fun, wonderful stuff that, uh, that they love to do or that their family members are interested in as well. Um, so I always tell my travel clients that a sweet spot that involves airfare is usually uh, at least seven or eight weeks out for travel to get the best prices as well as um, options for flight times, et cetera. Um, surely you can get discount flights uh, at the last minute, but your options are uh, much fewer um, available to you. And that there's a lot of um, 
uh, ambiguity going on in the travel industry these days. As I've been watching the news and, and heard that there is a call to uh, Secretary of Transportation Buttigieg to, to do something about the chaos that uh, is, is occurring with airlines and uh, delayed and canceled flights and um, issues of that nature. Um, a lot, there, there really is quite a bit of that going on. I always encourage travel clients to make sure that they um, obtain travel insurance and have a plan B in place to lessen the risk um, of a travel uh, vacation being interrupted or uh, problems that occur. And of course, as uh, when you utilize a certified travel agent to assist you in your travel planning, um, I pledge to be there for my clients as an advocate, not just at the time of the booking and sale, but even beyond that to make sure that their expert expectations are met, um, that questions are answered, and even in an emergency, they have someone to reach out to, um, someone to assist them with making any necessary changes. So um, if you have future travel in mind or know somebody who does, um, I would love those uh, referrals. Spa Travel would love to help. Um, I also want to make a quick note about, I have seen quite a bit on social media, some of these um, smaller travel agencies that are offering uh, deep, deep discounts for pre-planned trips that are a bundle of um, air and hotel and perhaps car rental. And I just want to make the note of uh, reminding individuals if, if, if you're, you're planning your travel completely on your own, um, to make sure that you look at the referrals, references, backgrounds of those uh, small companies uh, those discount companies on your uh, Better Business Bureau or um, any sites on the internet that evaluate the, the history of those companies, um, them resolving customer complaints, um, being clear in their contracts and agreements. Um, there's a lot of fly-by-nights that are popping up that are taking consumers' monies and not fulfilling um, their travel promises. So just wanted to put that alert out as well. Are there any questions related to travel that I may be able to um, assist with at this time? Any comments? Okay, so I saw Shelly had some issues coming back from New York. Did Were you her travel agent or not? I was not. Um, okay. I believe that that was a, she was doing group travel through her church or ministry to attend a conference. Um, okay. But I can tell you that, you know, I traveled this past weekend from Indianapolis to Florida and back. Both of my flights were delayed. Um, the first one, I was leaving early morning originally, and I think I got an email maybe three hours ahead of the flight indicating that my flight was being delayed two and a half hours. Um, now for some people that two and a half hour delay, you know, really changes and messes up their, their travel plans. If, if they don't have a plan B, if they haven't uh, accommodated with a time cushion. Um, additionally, coming back, the, the plane boarded on time uh, the, the cabin doors were closed and we remained captive for more than an hour awaiting a pilot. So uh, those things happen. It's, uh, I got home, you know, the wee hours of this morning. And um, in, in this case, and I, I won't call out the airlines, but there, was, there wasn't even, you know, an apology um, for the delays or the, the, the time spent, certainly no um, 
nothing provided to the travelers, um, no discount on future travel, no nothing. So it's happening all the time. And um, again, when you're traveling, just be prepared for the hiccups or the problems and uh, do your best to uh, build cushions into your travel schedule so that it is not too disconcerting. But you can also look online to find out for particular airlines, you know, what is their, their on-time percentage? And that may be another thing that you utilize to consider if that is a flight um, that you want to choose or an airline that you want to choose to go with. I have a question. <sighs> By them putting you on the plane and the plane was ready to go, is that an on-time flight? Uh, no, no, it was not. No. <laughs> they got us on the plane, but we did not uh, leave on time. So the times of departure and arrival um, that they post in the airport or that they have online had to change based upon, you know, we were still on the ground, even though we were uh, fully seated and ready to go. All right. Well, I hope that that's helpful. Um, Jennifer mentioned at the top of the discussion this that we are wrapping up July and our monthly theme for July is jot it down. Um, and that is pretty much focused on, you know, how do we keep track of everything, um, whether we do it manually on paper or use some electronic resources or memory jogger or, or whatnot. Um, we've had various discussions this month on that topic. I wanted to uh, just make a, an, an ask to our attendees on the call tonight. If you have any resources, whether that be a book, a website, a podcast that you utilize that is helpful to your business organization, um, your you know, operations that is either informational or inspirational that you would like to share with the group. Hmm. Hmm. While you're thinking about it, I, I will. I don't mind starting off the list. Of course, I'm prepared. I have been reading a book, and it is called "Do What You Love, The Money Will Follow." I don't know if you all are familiar with this. Um, it has been really good. I've really enjoyed it, and I want to share some of the the. Uh, the contents topics with you quickly, uh, the psychology of right livelihood, the belief system called myself, expressing your distinctive self, self, uh, treating yourself as if you count, dealing with the big R, which is resistance, dealing with the big S, the shoulds, uh, the money will follow, the three laws of resourcefulness, work as play, uh, or vocational integration, work as love and work as devotion. I have really enjoyed this book um, because it, it keeps you focused on the positive. Um, it's easy for us to get caught up in our business lives. Um, you know, we, we have some frustrations. Uh, the book helps us focus more on the inspirations that can come out of those um, not so great circumstances where um, we may face problems in our day to day business. It, it makes sure that we keep our focus on problem solving, um, not problem blaming or just, uh, you know, staying in the negative. And just the title in that when you're doing what you love, the, the money or uh, more so the success will follow. 
So I want to share with each of you uh, who are members of Collaborating Connections that I secured a little stash of these books uh, from the uh, secondhand bookstore, and I'm going to be sharing those, the, the book with, with each of you as well. So I hope that that's a resource that you uh, have the time to, to read and enjoy as well. Thank you, Don. No problem. You're welcome. Let me, Anybody let else let me have... move it from my shopping cart on Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go, go ahead and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any books or websites or podcast resources that they'd like to share um, with the rest of the members of the group? Hmm. I typically just um, use a calendar. I, I mean, I'm kind of old school. I have this like calendar. I buy one every year. Mm -hmm. um, I pretty much have to, I, I would need to burn them because I have so much sensitive information in them. Okay. Um, you know, a couple of years down the road, I keep them in a safe place in my, in, at my office. Um, but I, I do have very sensitive information. So I'm really, I, I've tried the electronic thing. I like try to do things electronically and, and I just, I miss it. You know, like I, I miss being able to jot things down really fast and um, <laughs> things like that. So just the old yeah. school, like, and then I like to have a lot of space to, to put, you know, not only just the calendar, but also notes, day by day notes. So um, I've tried to find different uh, styles of calendars to help kind of go along with how I, I jot down. Yeah. So. No, that's awesome. I'm with you on that, Bryn. I love my, um, my organizer. Yeah. My, organizer. My day planner as well. Mm -hmm. um, I will, you know, record someone's contact information or electronic business cards or whatever in my phone, but that's not the main source of my, my business information. I like to jot down, even if I'm writing on a post-it that I can put the post-it into my um, day planner organizer yeah um, is is a huge resource to me so that's a, that's a great one to share thank you Bryn. there is um go it's ahead about electronic business cards does anybody have any that they use to have your business card on your phone that you can just send it to someone i use i use the one from our um yeah. uh, referral runway once, okay. once you've populated all of your information in there, you know, you have an electronic business card that is shareable, which was one of the wonderful benefits that uh, Jennifer peeped out early about that, that resource. So um, I want to encourage everybody, you know, utilize that one um, to share. It is. Yeah, it's pretty easy, Nancy. I usually, if I'm like tomorrow, I'm putting it on my list to connect Bryn with my attorney and my group, um, I will share both of them are in the network. So I'll just share your referral runway link and you guys can say it better than I can, what you, you know, what you're, who you are and what you do. And, but I can, I can just, um, it, it is a really nice thing, but that I would just say, yeah, if you're not using it, go peek at it. Um, Nancy, I think yours is pretty good though, right? You filled out a lot of your stuff, right? I think so. I just have to find the app on my phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it isn't really an app for your phone. You can save it on your, you can go log in on your phone and save it as a link. Isn't that what? And so it's not a, an app, but it's uh, you can save it to your your web browser history because I guess. you just put the referral runway dot com or or whatever in your uh, web browser, whether that's um, you know Internet Explorer or, or whatever, and then it, it brings up referral runway, and then you choose the TTR networking and the collaborating connections group and dial down to your particular uh, page. But that's, um, 
if you're not using it, I would encourage you to look at it. And, but, you know, I will look at, and that's why I'm glad Robert wants to, and Robert, I've sent an email to Tony right now, but, and he may, he may see it tonight, but whatever, as soon as we can get you that answer, we'll do that. Um, but, you know, I want people to want to go in and update their, you know, keep it current. If you've got like, Bryn now is doing the, um, the professional liability. I mean, that's something I would definitely, and, and we don't have a lot of attorneys in our network. I think, I think our North side guy's the only one right now, but he does happen to work with other small businesses. I mean, that's one of his things. So not only could he be a good referral, I, you already know that, but, but, but Nancy, I, I, I'm thinking that I shared your link a couple of times. So um, I just encourage people to keep going in there and looking at it and updating it and, you know, and, and then go in and find, I think Don said that at the beginning is go in there. If you're looking for certain people, industries or certain, go in and reach out to them. There is, I mean, I just messaged Tony through referral runway. So you literally can do it that way, or you can just take their information, go on the outside and use it outside. I mean, it would be, it'd be, you know, for the fact that we're paying for the referral runway, not that you guys have, I mean, that's just part of your membership, but you might as well use it if you can. And, um, you know, anyway, but that, thank you for bringing that up, Don. That's a good question. All right. That was a good question, Nancy. And I'm glad you gave that answer, Don. <laughs> So, so also not to take away from referral runway because no, it is no. awesome and it is an easy way to share contact, but also Nancy, another thing you can do, do you have an iPhone? You can, um, create your own contact. So you, you, you add a contact, you put all your information in it, Nancy Vesley, you can put your picture on it. You can add your websites, you can add. The different there's a notes button um and you can if somebody's saying can i have your digital card business card all you have to do is um share contact get their phone number and you can send it to them in a text message and it gives you it gives them all your information Thank so you. when people say when people say digital business cards that's what they're that's what it is it sounds a lot fancier than what it is i was so intimidated when I was, somebody was talking, I'm like, what is that? They're like, oh, it's just your contact. I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. So you, you might want to, I, I, <laughs> I was going to share that you, you might not want to share your, your personal information with some of your contacts. So you might want to have a slight differentiation in your name um, when you're creating that. Yep. So you have a personal um, address, phone number for yourself, and then your business address, phone number that you would share with with potential clients, partners, etc. That's true. You yeah you you don't want to give them the the wrong the stuff. wrong yeah. <laughs> you don't want your customers calling you at one o'clock in the morning asking for health insurance. <laughs> You don't? Oh, come on. What do you, where's your where's your dedication? People? I don't know. I think I turned it off right around eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a good idea. <laughs> All righty. Anybody else? Any any resources or sites that you'd recommend to check out? You know, we um over the years, we've done um, kind of the same conversation in different groups. And part of it has been stuff like thinking about stuff like um, there was like there's there's email sorting software or something where you get emails. And if you don't want to address it that day, you can set it up to come back and, and come back to, you know what I mean? If it's something that you just want to sort out to, to um, pop up another day, it can, I don't know what it's called. I think there's one that's called, it wasn't not now. It's something about not now. 
I don't know, but something about how it comes, it's like, I don't know, I'm not saying that well, but it comes like, it, if you don't want to look at it now, it, it's, a, it's a thing for your, um, uh, if I could think it's like of a that, temporary but, bucket that you can put emails right. in to, so that it doesn't get lost in the abyss of all of the emails that, that you receive, but right. it's, it's, it'll be a tickler file or a, a bucket for you to return to those right. that, that are, in, that you deem as important and you would like to see again. So that, yeah, so that is exactly what you just said is exactly what I, yeah. So I would encourage, I mean, I would just say, you guys have any, I can't think of what it is, or if I knew, I would tell you what it is. Um, but if you can <laughs> think, it was like, if it's something like, if not now, then, or okay. something like that. So like, you know what I mean? Like you don't look at it, not now, but you look at it then, and, but you put it in a thing so that it'll pop it up again a couple of days later or, or a week later, or whenever. But that's what, what Don just said. But I know there's other stuff out there that works kind of the same way, right? So I don't know if anybody uses any software or any programs like that. I don't know if you call them programs or you call them... But anyway, I think that kind of stuff, if we could help each other with that, that would make, you know, life much better <laughs> for some of us. If you, if you come up with those kind of things, you don't have, and just because it's jotted down right now, we're talking about tools and doesn't mean you, ha you can't share it at any, you can share it anytime you want, but yeah. I just, that's kind of what has happened in the past. With you mentioning that, Jennifer, I just did a quick search for email sorting apps and it came up with front.com to keep your inbox organized, uh, Boomerang, okay, Clean Fox, and Maelstrom as options. So I guess, you know, you'd have to take a look at each one to determine what um, what options and functionality it it provides to uh, keep your inbox organized. But, um, you know, we get so many emails, at least I do. And uh, I agree, it's it's sometimes kind of daunting, you know, trying to unsubscribe from unnecessary email lists that I have been added to based upon what I've visited on the internet and, um, um, you, I, I certainly don't want to miss out on, you know, important customer communication emails, but I manage, you know, my personal email, my business email, um, I've got access to my mom's email, um, I've got access to the email for my, uh, for my blog, uh, for collaborating connections, it's got a separate email, so uh, balancing a lot uh, finding a useful tool to, to help is, uh, can be really beneficial. So uh, thanks for bringing that up, Jennifer. You're welcome. I didn't do much, but you're welcome. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Any, any resources? Okay. Uh, well, Jennifer also mentioned while we're wrapping up July and the jot it down, uh, and as we prepare to go into August, our August theme is awesome testimonies, testimonials. And uh, that theme is all about how do we get the awesome testimonies? Um, why are they important? Um, talking about authentic testimonials rather than, uh, you know, kind of the canned comments. What, what really is going to speak to our potential public, our potential client base? Um, those, those genuine authentic stories about the, the service or the quality of the products that we offer. So um, just to get you thinking about that ahead of time, 
awesome testimonies for the month of August. And I think that that's something that is beneficial to each and every one of us in our business. Um, it certainly helps to differentiate our business offering from the next the next organization, the next company that is within the same industry as us. And uh, while we always talk about, um, you know, being authentic and unique and putting ourselves forward as we do our, our business introductions and introductions of ourselves, um, you know, don't be afraid to ask for the testimonials and think about how you want to be portrayed in um, in the minds of your your customer base and then make sure you know utilize that as a guide for what you're sharing with clients and potential clients and evaluate and gauge ourselves after um, offering a product or services service to see how we're doing so all of those things to be considered. Anything, anything else um, for the cause before we wrap up tonight? Um, I would just say, Robert, I just um, updated your email in Referral Runway to your current email, okay? So what Tony said was to... I could do that. This is a learning thing for me. <laughs> so I update that. And now you should be able to log in. I mean, you should be able to get on and say forgot password and set a new password with your new email. So I can stay on for a few. I mean, if you want to try to do that or you just want to do it tomorrow, that's fine. No big deal. I didn't send you any kind of a email saying, Robert, this is what you do. I just set your email to your new old national email, robert.haley at old national. And um, I can just have you in you know, old .com, Sorry. And so you can go ahead and do that. And let me know if that doesn't work for some reason. But that's what Tony said. You should be able then just to say you want to change your password and do that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, you're welcome. I think I might have seen your your text about that, and I'm sorry I didn't jump on that quicker. But, but that's a good learning experience, Robert. And I do know that your um, your profile. I was just looking at it when I was sending you or updating your email. It looks like you got a lot of good stuff in there. So probably you can just change the company name and make it pretty pretty uh, transparent. You know, just slide from one to the other. But. That's pretty cool. So thank you. I appreciate it. And we're glad and excited. Can I ask one question, Robert? Who is your biggest, who are you trying to focus or target right now? Who do you need to talk to? Uh, first time home buyers. Okay. So, so mortgage people. Okay. First time home buyers, realtors, uh, community partners, nonprofit, anyone that's in front of people that's uh, dealing with people that's low to moderate income people. They want to be homeowners. Okay. Uh, so, so uh, realtors that dealing with first time home buyers, first time home buyers, never been a home buyer, uh, people who definitely have groups, people that I can stand in for, talk about and educate them, uh, help them to be homeowners. Uh, that's really what I want to talk to. Because uh, all okay. about is getting people, helping people to understand their options when they don't know that they are, what the options are. That's cool. Um, that is very cool. Okay. And I would definitely, you know, one thing in general, Nicole and I were talking about that we were doing the video casts like crazy, um, you know, there for a while. And now we've kind of, kind of morphed into the TTR presents a little. Oh, um, so definitely Robert, when you and Bryn did your thing, it was really cool. The educational end of it is exactly what you just, you know, if we can, if you can kind of think about how you'd want to do that, that's very cool, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that would be, that's exciting. I mean, I'm excited for you. So let me know if that you would like to do that. I mean, I think we can do, we'd like to get programming scheduled throughout the next couple months. I mean, you know, get our, you know, TTR presents 
out there and um, we've got a lot of different ways we're trying to do it. But anyway, I'm excited for you. So thank you for, for being on tonight and filling us all in. Yep. Thanks so much. Um, with your mention of that and the TTR presents, I know Nancy, you did a couple of presentations or developed a couple of presentations. And if if you would be at all interested in uh, presenting that same information in a TTR presents, um, <laughs> I'm just tossing it out there as an, an opportunity um, in the TTR Presents. Uh, it helps us, of course, establish ourselves as subject matter experts in particular areas and, of course, widens uh, and a possible audience for future contacts and relationship development. So um, that option is there. Um, I also wanted to mention, I didn't get any responses back from the Survey Monkey, and that may, I want to make sure, did anybody see that, or I may need to check and make sure that I set that up properly, but uh, what I wanted to do was touch base with all of our members to make sure that the Tuesday night, 6 p.m., was uh, a good time for us remains a good time for us. And if there were, were other times that are more convenient that, you know, we gather that information and consider it because, um, you know, we love having uh, attendance as much as possible from our members and we are happy to invite visitors um, and meet new people and, and build new relationships. So I wanna make sure that we set a time that is conducive for that. Um, additionally, the survey is just asking for ideas if there are any needs uh, that our members have that uh, aren't currently being met, I want to make sure that we gather that information to help improve our programming. So all that to say, um, I'm going to check from my end about the survey, but I really look forward to your feedback. And to make sure that you are um, inviting others to visit us at any time. Um, I know Jennifer has done a great job and made um, some introductions for collaborating connections uh, within the past week. And I have uh, extended that introduction as well. So look forward to some uh, visitors joining our call in the, in the next coming month. Um, all that being said, I want to encourage you to go forward to have a fantastic rest of the week. Uh, be productive, be successful, and I look forward to seeing each of you again next week. Take care now. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yes, I'm. laughs>